Now we can discuss on the enthalpy changes during the phase transformations. What's the meaning of this phase transformations? You know that solid to liquid conversion. What is the change happening here? The ice when it is changing to water, phase it is changing. Solid state changed to liquid state. So otherwise water when it is changing into vapor. So what it is happening here? Liquid changes to gas. So phase change it is happen. Solid sometimes directly changes to gas. Yes. So such a reaction we know that sublimation reaction. So phase change occurs here. So when such a phase change occurs during a chemical reaction. What's the enthalpy change accompanied? That enthalpy change we have to be find out. So that enthalpy change we can discuss in detail now. Yes. Definition we can read it now. That is energy is required to convert the solid to liquid or liquid to gas processes are collectively known as phase changes or phase transition. So what's the, when any phase transitions when it is occur during the chemical reaction what is the enthalpy change you can find out the finding method we studied that enthalpy of a reaction how the way we can find out enthalpy of a reaction how it is forming that it is equal to the sum of enthalpies of products minus sum of enthalpies of reactants right so when you are knowing these products and reactants enthalpy values you can find out the enthalpy change value very easily okay first phase transition it is standard enthalpy of fusion or molar enthalpy of fusion fusion means you know that solid changes to liquid when this conversion happens what's the enthalpy change and when you are doing this reaction the all the things you have to be taken a standard condition so i will read the question uh, um, definition now the enthalpy change accompanying the conversion of one mole of a solid here one mole of a solid i took in the standard state into a liquid state at its melting point okay then one word it's here melting point what is meant by melting point at which point at which temperature solid changes to liquid that particular temperature we are calling the name is melting point okay so when this process occurs what's the enthalpy change uh, that it is said to be the enthalpy of fusion molar enthalpy that means one mole of a solid substance case we are taken as a standard that's why its name is molar enthalpy of fusion next is standard enthalpy of vaporization or molar enthalpy molar enthalpy means one mole of the vaporization means liquid changes to vapor so here liquid water molecule when it is changing into gas molecule so what is the enthalpy change and it is occurring in a standard condition that means one mole of a liquid when it is changing into its vapor under the standard condition of 1 bar at its boiling point boiling point means at which temperature the liquid molecule changing into vapor that particular temperature we are calling the name is boiling point so when these all changes when it is happening what's the enthalpy change what's the energy change what's the heat change during that chemical reaction that it is said to be the name it is the molar enthalpy of vaporization or standard enthalpy of vaporization here when we expressing that enthalpy value in the case of a vaporization here standard condition if it is the standard the notation it will be there along with that vaporization right vap then if it is a fusion reaction along with that fus you have to be write that enthalpy change at standard rate here you can see next one standard enthalpy of sublimation sublimation means what when a solid when it is directly goes to gaseous state without going to the liquid state that process we are calling the name. normally uh, water when we taken water it is sorry water it's a solid form it is ice ice it is normally it is changing to liquid afterwards only it is changing into gas gaseous state but some of the compounds or some of the substances having the property like ammonium chloride camphor likewise such substances naphthalene they having the chance of 
the uh, going from the solid to vapor state directly so that process we are calling the name is sublimation when such a process occurs if it is occurring in a standard conditions of a one bar pressure right and a specific temperature what's the enthalpy change accompanied by that reaction it is said to be the standard enthalpy of sublimation or molar enthalpy of sublimation notation it is delta h of standard along with that sublimation sub i will read the definition the enthalpy change accompanying the conversion of one molar molar or standard means one mole of the substance we normally take on so one mole of a solid directly changes into a gaseous state at constant temperature and one bar pressure it is said to be the enthalpy of sublimation this is the value of this solid to gas direct conversion of this iodine okay then this enthalpy of sublimation it is related to fusion and also vaporization so it is easiest method for finding the enthalpy of sublimation if you don't know the enthalpy of sublimation of this one so you have to be find out with the help of this sum of enthalpy of fusion and some the sum of enthalpy of vaporization when you are doing this equation you can find out the enthalpy of sublimation directly for doing the problems okay